Welcome to Wales and welcome to a regular style vlog again. I've been craving this type of setup for a long time to come outside with the camera to film, to take photos and to just make a good old vlog about it. It's been a while um, and obviously this year has been kind of all over the place but I'm happy to make just a good old vlog again. I hope, I hope you're happy to see this as well. Um, it's good to be back. Anyway, welcome to Wales. Uh, we're on our way towards uh, areas of the Brecon Beacons uh, with our friends Rosie and Zane and uh, forming a, a little coronavirus bubble. This is also a little bit of a test uh, because I'm shooting this on the Canon R5. Uh, it's going to be my first full vlog with the R5, so I hope you like it. Um, I've decided to keep it as you would have seen in my previous video and I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying the usability on it, but yeah. We're going to go and explore some areas, hopefully get some shots, currently in this little woodland at the very start. And oh, sorry. I'm just so happy with Ellie as well and you're potentially making a vlog on Jelly. Yes. So over there testing the Sony ZV-1. Mixing up all things, weekend in Cardiff, catching up with friends after a long, long time of not seeing people. Generally just taking it chill. Taking it steady. It's just nice to be outside again. Yoohoo! definitely fresh <laughs> we're uh, we've made it to the wind fire reservoir which is like a obviously a man-made dam looks like a Victorian era structure um, created this mass amount of water and now on the other side is uh, the stream that we've been walking past in total this walk uh, so through that part of the the national park has taken us uh, that has taken us 80 minutes or so, uh, 3.4 kilometers, so about two and a bit miles. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasant walk, a little bit boggy at times, but so far all good. Ellie did drop the Sony though. So we're now just gonna head walking back pretty much. Um, I think we might head back to the car and hopefully on this lower route it's a little bit faster because um, yeah we want to go to another area there's a bridge that I want to look at uh, I can't remember the name of it but it's like a, a viaduct um, and yeah that could be quite good if the uh, if the sun pops out later I must say by the way this R5 is doing spectacularly well at switching between photo and video modes I love that the uh, the settings remain the same so you've got designated video settings designated photo settings um, the photos themselves, I, I think, are anything but spectacular. <laughs> but who cares? It's just nice to be out clicking shots. Um, yeah, I'm just 
just happy to be out with the camera, to be honest. Really nice. Um, I think Lightroom now supports these Canon photos, uh, so I'll do an update and uh, have a little play around and see what it's like moving these raw files around and see what we can do. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't intend for this to be a photography camera, I was thinking of it more for video. Um, but in times where I'd like a hybrid, I think it can do the job quite well. So the area that we're in currently of the Brecon Beacons, or rather where we parked the car, uh, it was called Black Mountain. Um, you can just search for it on Google Maps, just car park Black Mountain. Um, and I didn't realise, but it's actually super close to the border between England and Wales. Um, so yeah, just kind of looking on it and uh, kind of near to Herefordshire. Um, but I think the reason it's called Black Mountain, and uh, I think Black Mountain itself is kind of a funny name, it sounds like a, a ride at a theme park or, um, or some sort of budget horror movie. <laughs> but Black Mountain, oh shit. Uh, but I think Black Mountain, uh, the name, potentially, comes from the darkness of the tree. So just looking over there in the forest, uh, it is really dark. It's, um, yeah, it's got like a dense woodland area that is uh, definitely quite a dark appearance. Maybe that's where it comes from. Maybe it's a translation of some sort. Maybe it's a poor translation of some sort. Who knows? Um, I'm sure I could Google it later. And uh, likewise, you can Google it as well. driving and uh, we've come sort of like a, a bit of a loop around the Breckens. Um, so we've gone almost via the town Brecon and we're now on the A470 heading further south back towards Cardiff. Um, we may reach the bridge that we're thinking of, uh, I'm not sure. The sun is going down but the lighting is very nice, it's very beautiful. Um, and I just love seeing how the light just kind of kisses the top of the hills. It's uh, yeah, very... Um, very rolling green countryside. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna carry on and hopefully see that bridge. Well, we found the bridge, but maybe we saw winter photos because it's really overgrown here. There's so much foliage in the way and not really a clear view of it. Um, so in some ways missing the light actually wasn't the uh, wasn't the end of the day because um, there's not really much of a view of it. But there, there's a bridge up there, a bit of a viaduct, very Victorian looking uh, with the arches. Um, yeah, I'm just going to see if I can get a view from the bridge. This other bridge. Yeah, nah, no view there. <laughs> um, yeah, well, eh, it's kind of cool. It's not really a photo spot though, definitely. Unless we've chosen the wrong bridge. We're back at the flat in Cardiff now. And uh, yeah, it's been a very enjoyable day. Going out, seeing the Brecon Beacons for the first time. A, uh, a very picturesque part of Wales. And uh, most importantly though, it's just been great to be outside with a camera. Shooting and capturing images and video. Whether they're of anything substantial or not doesn't really matter, it's just been enjoyable to be out. Uh, I've also really enjoyed vlogging on this R5. Um, I think it's, it's worked out pretty well for me, so I'm looking forward to using that a lot more. But yeah, during this whole lockdown, I've not really been outside a huge amount. In fact, I've got a spreadsheet of all of the times that I have left our flat in London. And uh, let me tell you, there aren't many rows on that spreadsheet. <laughs> I've got all of our detailed interaction of shops that we've been to and places of contact and whatever. And throughout the whole time at home, I haven't really stressed about it too much. Uh, in fact, working at home has actually been fairly 
straightforward and standard for us really. I've sort of relished at the uh, the opportunity to work on some bigger like at home related projects. Uh, one of which that you may have noticed and have been dotted throughout this video are my animated titles. Uh, so if you didn't know, I have released those uh, a couple of months back. I've been working on those a lot. And um, yeah, those types of things are a product of lockdown. But um, from today's perspective, going outside, capturing images again, and uh, just feeling that creative sort of uh, energy and aspect, uh, I've really enjoyed. I think that's been a, a good thing for me. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the style of this video. And if you want to see more of these like relaxed vlogs and just let's be honest, fairly surface level trips, then um, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I want to ease back into vlogging again. I want to spend more time doing these types of things. And if you've got suggestions for places to visit in the UK as well, I am definitely open to hearing those, whether that's places you've been, places you know about, uh, or places you just want to see from my perspective. Um, I think that could be a, a cool idea. So yeah, leave your thoughts and uh, ideas in the comments below and I hope you're staying well. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video real soon. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Catch you later, bye bye. Ha, ha, ha.